Pep Millwall, never an easy place to come. The boys had to dig in tonight, but a really good point on the road. Yes, I think so. I think uh, we had to do a lot of things right as a team, the right mentality, the right level of aggressivity, the right level of commitment in the team and in the squad uh, to tackle that game because it's always very difficult. And of course, the right level of organisation. I think the team was uh, very well organised. Everyone's role was right. And the mentality of the players was always to make sure that that, that balance between uh, go for the game and, and making sure that we that we safe was always right. I think all the decisions was made well by the players on an away game. I think we had our chances to, to win the game, but we always had to be sure that if, if those chances don't come in, that we we get we get the point that we started, and, and that's how we approach the game. And, and I'm, I'm happy with the outcome, despite that I think we did enough to win it. It's a pivotal moment in the game. Christian Pedersen slams the ball into the back of the net, and the referee disallows the goal. What was your view of the incident? It's a clear goal, in my opinion. When you look back on the match, did you have to physically match Millwall tonight? You think of the two centre-halves in particular, Harley Dean given man of the match by the TV cameras tonight. Defensively, how good were your team? Very good. The back line, the goalkeeper, very good the midfielders. Um, the wingers, I think um, we took a few risks today that we can avoid, but they gave us other things. Um, and up front, the two strikers, um, they they helped us very well on linking that defence to the to the offensive transition very well. But when we speak about it on your question about the defensive side of the team, very, very well, everyone. 12 games unbeaten now. It's the longest unbeaten stretch for eight years. That's surely something to, to look forward to going into the last 11 games with now. Yes, absolutely. But we need to forget that. And now we have QPR, where we've got to fight for, for three points and, and make sure that we give our all on, on every game that we have left. And in the end of the day, the team has gone a huge way from when we started until now. We are a little bit thin, we know that. Uh, but the important thing is that we keep being organised, that we keep being, having the spirit that we have and our football is, has, done a, has gone a massive way from the beginning of the season until now. And, and we, we grind in results and that's the important thing. And, and we want to focus, keep being focused on, on one game at a time and now it's Coupia and go there with a the, with the mentality to, to win it. I have to ask you about Michael Kifton Bell, 10 months out with a serious knee injury. How proud are you to see him back out on the pitch in a Birmingham City shirt tonight? Very proud because I was there when he suffered that injury. I was very unfortunate. I've been there when he's been working a lot for getting back and getting me ready for the team. And the fact that he, he jumps in the pitch today is massive for himself and, and for us all because he's a, he's a very important player for, for the club and for the team. Uh, these minutes that you play after you've been injured, you know. Uh, it feels like all is strange to find yourself because it's like coming back to think that you've done so many, so many times, so long time ago. But at the end of the day, I think he managed to run and help the team, and now he's, he's, he's completely back with us, and I'm very happy. Happy as always. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much.